Hello students and welcome once again to Ohm Institute and in this video of the post gate guidance series we are going to talk about the cutoff trends of IIT Hyderabad okay uh, on the basis uh, of the uh, previous year cutoffs the inputs that I have got uh, you know some of the input from the web some of the inputs collected from students uh, of course IIT Hyderabad is definitely a new Hadra is a new IIT but to be very specific here uh, yes it is offering placements equivalent to the top IITs and that is why it is a very good choice and that is the reason it has cut off trends also similar to you know the uh, little bit similar to the old IITs itself okay so what is that let's have a look into it okay let's have a look into this so you know this is for microelectronics and VLSI this is for the microelectronics and VLSI Here it is. So, if I start with the microelectronics and VLSI, so now very clearly I have mentioned this is the expected approximate cutoff, okay, that can go up to the last round. See, uh, for the other colleges like IIC Bangalore, IIT Bombay, IIT Kharagpur, I have made some videos earlier, IIT Madras as well. So, we had the, uh, the, the exact data, okay, for some of the colleges, I even had the last four to five years data that I have presented to you. For IIT Hyderabad, I had the last year data, but not 100% complete, okay. So, uh, you know, from that last year data and then some of the data I had prior to that uh, 2023 year as well. So, on the basis of the two years data, okay, uh, I've uh, made an expected approximate cutoff, okay, so that you get a clear idea, okay, whether uh, based on your score, whether you could be getting IIT Hyderabad or not and if yes, what would be the uh, expected cutoff uh, for this uh, uh, academic year 2025 and 2026. So, microelectronics and VLSI uh, being the top choice. Okay, uh, direct admission, no interviews there and for the general category expected cutoff, I am mentioning up to the last round. See, uh, don't be disheartened that you don't get, uh, you know, at 700, 750, you may not get IIT Hyderabad at the first round of COAP. Okay, because most likely just after the first round, okay, if, if I, you know, talk about the first round calculation, this, this particular number, okay, this particular number, if you talk about the first round, it could be somewhere around 800 to 850. It will be somewhere in between this. Okay, it can be somewhere in between this, the cutoff. Okay, but as eventually as you go up to the last round, it will settle approximately at 700. Approximately at 700. So, that's what up to the last round. Okay, finally, uh, what can be the uh, expected cutoff that I have mentioned, not only considering the first round scores. Okay, okay. So, for general EWS and OBC and NLC, 650 approximately would be the expected cutoff for SC 450 and for SC 400. Okay. Now, coming to the uh, next specialization and uh, see MVLSI these days, whether your branch is EC or EE, almost, you know, both the branch students are preferring it. Okay. Uh, but yes, okay. But yes, uh, you know, if, if your uh, core branch is EC, okay, so definitely your next choice could be communication, signal processing and learning. Okay, the expected cutoff again up to the last year, 600, uh, up to the last round, 600. Okay, again, if, if I talk about the first opening round, this also may be approximately 700 if I talk about first round. Okay, but yeah, up to 600, you have the chance of getting it, the communication and signal processing at IIT Hyderabad. For general EWS and for OBC NLC, it would be, it could be approximately around 550 for SC 400 for SC 350, right? Then again, if your core specialization is EE, okay, so your preferred choice uh, would be power, power electronics and power systems, okay, uh, little bit similar trends uh, if, if you compare with communication, okay, so general I expect to close by around uh, 600 up to the last round, again, in the opening rounds, it may be 650 to 700, somewhere around 650 to 700, okay, so you can, if you can wait up to multiple rounds, or depends, you know, as, as the rounds are progressing of co-op, you may get a better option, if you are already getting a good IIT like Delhi, Bombay, Madras, Kharagpur, etc., so you can directly opt for that, okay, so uh, for general EWS, it could be 500 basis of the previous year trends, OBC, NLC 550, SC 400, sorry, SC 450 and ST 400 could be the expected approximate cutoff for this. Next specialization, again under EE department, so these are the uh, four courses under the EE departments, I would say, MVLSI, Communication Signal Processing, Power Electronics and Power Systems, Systems and Control. Okay, so, uh, you know, approximate cutoff up to the last round, okay, it has slightly higher, uh, you know, uh, cutoff trends as if you compare to communication or power electronics as well, 625 is what uh, is the trend suggesting for OBC NLC 575, for general EWS it may be around 550, 
for SC 450 and ST again 400. This again, I have, you know, in the opening rounds, this also may be around uh, some 670, 680 up to 700 as well. Okay. Now coming to an interdisciplinary course, okay, again having decent placements, of course not as good as MVLSI or communication or electronics, but offering decent placements. It's an interdisciplinary course in IIT Hyderabad that is integrated circuits and microsystem packaging, okay, where even mechanical students, they, they also usually apply for this course, okay. And this is some course which can, you know, make you take admission IIT Hyderabad at very low scores as well, okay. The, at opening rounds, you may expect the cutoff around 550-600. But, uh, you know, up to the last round, uh, it could be uh, going up to the, you know, 500 for OBC and LC, 550 for general EWS category, 475 for SC, 400 for ST, 350. Okay, this is for this uh, interdisciplinary course of uh, integrated circuits and microsystem packaging, right. Moving ahead to the next one, a course offered by Department of Physics. Okay, but uh, more or less, I won't say this is the best of the specialization for placement point of view, but... Uh, uh, if, if you are further inclined in research and especially in this area, quantum and solid state devices, okay, if you are interested in quantum physics, you can opt for this. Again, at very low score, it, it can get you to a good IIT like IIT Hyderabad. Okay, uh, the general cutoff uh, saturating up to the last round could be 475, opening round maybe 500, 525. Okay, for generally WS and OBC, NLC, I believe it could be around 425 for ST350 and for ST300. That means at very low scores, you can be getting this specialization. But again, Placement should be there, but not the best of the placements if you compare to the other specialization. And another uh, department, uh, you know, semiconductor materials and devices. Okay. Although currently it has low uh, cutoff, but in the upcoming time, you know, the future of semiconductor uh, devices is there. Okay. So for that point of view, right now you may feel you have low score, but uh, yes, for future point of view, getting, uh, you know, masters in semiconductor materials and devices could be a good idea. And again, if you are inclined towards research, you can definitely go for it because again, at very low scores, I mean, the cutoff could go as low as up to 450. In the starting rounds, it may start up to 500 as well. Okay, and for OBC and EWS, uh, I'm expecting it to be around 400 for SC350 and for ST300. That means again, at pretty much low scores, so you'll be getting. So there are some specializations, okay, which can get you towards IIT Hyderabad at low scores like uh, semiconductor materials and devices, quantum and solid stage devices and integrated circuits and microsystem packaging. Okay, and then the other four specializations offered under the uh, EE department, systems and control engineering, okay, power electronics and power systems, communication signal processing and learning, and Mike MVLSI uh, is what I have spoken about in this video. So these could be several specializations which can be directly of interest, uh, you know, for ECWE or IN aspirants. Okay. Now, which specialization you can apply to? Okay. So see, this video I am not uh, making uh, a complete uh, 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 video on IIT Hyderabad. This is only of the last year cutoffs. Okay. What is the eligibility criteria for a particular specialization? What gate paper is applied? That you can see into the brochure. Okay, that is very clearly mentioned in the brochure. Okay, so uh, yeah, again, this was a small video targeting some uh, highlights on IIT Hyderabad. Okay, these are not the exact cutoff of the last year or last two last year, but yeah, on the basis of the data I had for last year and some data I had for 2023, okay, I analyzed the data and I have made some expected cutoff that could be uh, for 2025-26 academic year. Okay, but yeah, you get a slight approximate idea whether that you should be going, you should be, are you likely to get IIT Hyderabad and if yes, what specialization? In that respect, the video can help you okay and to get more such useful information you can definitely subscribe to our channel ohm institute so that you keep getting regular good content for you thank you stay safe and take care